Hey guys, here with a very cool app. Um, one thing about Android is that I like that Android phones have LED lights which lets you see notifications when you get a text messaging or email or uh, your battery is running low or you have your Bluetooth on. I like the uh, LEDs that you can actually customize the lights. But the thing is, since I switched to the Nexus 4, um, it, it has only one light and it's only white. You can't actually um, control um, um, notification LEDs for your SMS or for your email or for your battery. When your battery is low, it doesn't give you a warning sign or anything. So I found an app that totally helps me on that and it's compatible with almost every single app out there, um, cell phone out there. Uh, it's called Lightflow Light. Uh, this is the free version, but honestly the free version is enough for you um, unless you want more notifications. Um, you can pay for the for the full app. I don't know what's the price right now, but it should be like two dollars, I think, which is totally worth it. If you if you can't customize your LED on your phone, it's totally worth it. Uh, so what, how it works? It very easily. Let's go ahead here. Let's go ahead to notifications. Here is where you're gonna go and customize all the lights of your notifications. On um, for example, right now in calendar, I have it orange. If I want to change it to orange, um, by default, I think it's white. So right here, you see right there, it says enabled. Make sure you enable, because by default, it might be off. So you go ahead and enable it. And once you enable, you can go ahead over here. It says light. And it says enable light. Make sure that's checked. Here, notification, notification colors. From here, you could go ahead and change the color of your notification. And I like that it has lots and lots of great colors there very helpful colors so you can go ahead and switch it to turquoise and right there also i like this feature over here it says led flash rate uh, you can make it flash very very fast or fast or slow or you could go ahead and leave the uh, led on always on until you decide to read the, the message uh, that's very handy i leave it over there to faster and that's it you don't have to actually do any more here um, here camera flash you can actually do this as well you can make your camera flash as well uh, set the state of the camera flash led switching this option will also drain your battery faster so just keep that in mind you can make your your led flash every time you get a notification that's very cool as well so here let's go ahead and turn this off and that's it once you're done you're done you don't need to do nothing more it's very very simple um, another thing for example um, if you're coming from a Nexus 4 you know that um, it won't let you see when your phone is completely charged when you have the pl uh, plugged in completely charged you can also do it here as well you can go here notification and here charge battery so I like leaving that for example enabling that uh, here flash rate I oh, I leave it to always on that way the 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 phone is already plugged into the wall because it's charging so when it hits fully charged the light blue will always light up and stay up which is awesome so that's a very cool feature there another cool thing is like for example the Bluetooth over here if I wanna I'm very uh, I'm very careful with the Bluetooth I try to turn it on and off a lot you know, if I'm not home or if I'm not using Bluetooth, I always turn it off. But let's say uh, you need some help in that, make sure the LED will help you out. So let's go ahead and enable that. And here I could go ahead and put um, blue or bright pink or cyan. Let's go ahead and put uh, for the purpose of the video, let's go ahead and leave it in blue. And let's go ahead here and say very fast. So now let's go ahead, um, that's done. You can turn it off. Let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on. Okay, so now the Bluetooth is on. And let's go ahead and lock the phone. So like you see there, the Bluetooth um, blue light is lighting up. That is very cool. And that's it guys, so like you see there, it works very nice. Um, um, this is the setup that I have, let me show you guys. Uh, maybe you would like to do it as well. I don't have this selected right now because I have the blue. I got it for um, battery charge. But right now, uh, for example, I got calendars. Uh, my calendars, I have it in orange. Let me leave that in orange. 
Like you see there, you could, you can even put a different LED for different calendars. I got three calendars synced to my phone, like my Mark the Geek calendar and my normal calendar and my, another calendar here. So I got all of them with the same light, but you could go ahead and change them the color. You could change, put, give a, every single one of a color, but I don't want to make it so confusing because I'm going to be using uh, other colors for other apps. Uh, uh, for example, um, email, I got white. Uh, for Google Talk, I got yellow for low battery. That's another feature that you won't see on the phone. Uh, when it when the phone reaches low battery, it starts flashing red. That is very very awesome. You could of course change that. Miss Miss Call Sky Blue. I think that's it. Um, MMS. I put it MMS and SMS. I put both at green. That's very convenient there because since the app is green. I see the green um, LED and I say, okay, I got a MMS there. Uh, reminder, orange as well, because that's part of the calendar. The reminder is part of the calendar. But like you see here, you could go ahead and change a lot more. You could do a lot more things over here. Uh, for example, if I want to put silent mode, I want to put a light for silent mode. Let's go ahead and put, um, let's say I want to put um, red. For silent mode, so this is for the purpose of the video, and let's go ahead and put this in silent mode. Now it's in silent mode. If I turn it off, there it goes. <laughs> so I got a red light, and that way I can know that the red light means that oh, my phone is in silent. Very awesome. So, guys, that was it. That's a, a look. I know this app is not new, but maybe some people out there will want to do this um i honestly wanted to do this because coming from the galaxy s3 the galaxy s3 actually lets you customize um the led lights colors per notification but this has more notifications and it has more colors to choose from so this app will be um very very good for a lot of people and especially if you have a nexus 4 this app will obviously let you um, solve your problem with LED notifications like it did for me. So I hope it helps you out guys and till next time